No. We want to look specifically at the budget constraint, and we just want to look at this very simple issue of how can the budget constraint change. Remember that the budget constraint contains two pieces of information. It contains information about prices and it contains information about income. And we draw it say that the price was going to be the price was going to be uh, 20 and that my income was 1000 so what if again I gave you these numbers then right we already know how to sort of draw this based on video number two which would be that I have X and Y intercepts X and Y intercepts that reflect 250. Uh, those numbers drawn in there because this represents 1,000 total income divided by the price of vitamins, which is 5. Over here, 1,000 divided by the price of K. Now, Let's look at three different scenarios. Number one, what if the income increases? What if income goes up to $2,000? Well, then income equals 2000 Price of vitamins equals $5. Price of keyboards equals $20. Quantity of vitamins, quantity of keyboards, now I'm at 400 and 100 and I draw the line out. Whereas previously it was at 250. Notice that here it is a parallel shift. Parallel because the prices didn't change. Nothing about the prices changed. The price ratio is still 5 over 20 and 5 over 20. Scenario two. What if the price of vitamins falls to two dollars? Well, now, right now, I'm going to have income. Let's go back to the original income level. $1,000, price of vitamins, now $2, price of keyboards, now, or still, $20, which means I'm still at 50 here, right, quantity of vitamins, quantity of keyboards, but now, instead of 200 as I was before up here. So this is what the old budget constraint looked like. Now it looks like this. It pivots outwards. And it pivots outwards because now the intercept is 1000 divided by 2, which is 500. So if the price of the good on the x-axis falls, it pivots outward. Here we have a parallel shift. Here we have a pivot out. 
scenario 3. Quantity of vitamins, quantity of keyboards, income equaling 1000. The question here is What if keyboard price is to ten dollars? Then I originally had this written out as let's go back to five. Now price of keyboards is ten. which means now I'm at 100 and I am at 200 whereas before I was at 200 and at 50 which basically means that it pivots as well but now from the same x-intercept where this 50 used to be 1000 divided by 20 now this 100 is 1000 divided by 10 so, there have been basically three ways that the budget constraint can change. You can have a parallel shift. That would be whenever the income is changing. And I drew it as if income were increasing, but I could have also drawn it as if price or income was decreasing. Two. I could have it pivot from the same y-intercept that would happen if the price of the good on the x-axis changes. Or I can pivot from the same x-intercept. Which is what would happen if the price of the good and the y-axis changes. These shifts and movements are going to be useful for us um, in video number six.